Hi guys, Joe from Prepper in the Woods and today I'm excited about my review. It's something I always wanted and I finally have it. It's been on sale and I see a lot of campers have it. So um, I got it for my camp trip in August. It's from Boutique Camping and it's in this box. So I'm going to show you what you get when you order a tent stove from Boutique Camping and it is... Ooh, Hello. So, like I said, I got it on sale and let's have a look. So I've been waiting a long time for this and it finally came on offer. So, let's see what you get now. So, that's the bag. And then you're gonna have a little bit of packaging. That pot there. That's the thing for sparks. And then here's the main bit, so let's have a look at that. So the weight of this is 10 kilos, so obviously not a backpacking tent or uh, stove. Alright, so change the position here just so it's better for the camera and I don't smoke anybody out. So that's all assembled and you can see the pipe goes all the way up. Pipe is two meters tall. You can put it on um, just from standing, which I shall show you now, but oh, it's really nice actually. It's really complete and looks solid. So, burning well at the moment, and you can see that the paint is burning off at the moment as well. Hardly any smoke coming out of the top, which is nice. Again, they said the first couple of fires just to um, keep them small, so that's what I'm going to do. And just keep at it. Tell you what, the, the heat coming off this is excellent. So I'm very happy with that. Very easy to feed. No problems there. Um, I do have gloves uh, to use this because this is going to be hot. Um, but no, I'm really happy with this so far. Um, they do sell the flashing bit to go onto your um, tent roof if you wanted this in your tent. Um, they also sell the water bottle that goes onto the pipe so you can make water or uh, boil water while you're doing your fire. But no, ash pan here. Very happy with this. 
very good purchase I'm glad I bought it um, I'll put all the information I can on the screen for you if you're interested in getting a budget well I say budget friendly this is probably the lower price point end of a tent stove also called the frontier stove uh, boutique camping has their logo on the side of this one so they must make it um, you know kind of for everybody kind of thing but um, yeah really happy with this the fire's going well you cook here I'll boil my water there that's it the only other thing I would mention is to get if you put this inside a tent to get the uh, matting for the floor otherwise you'll end up burning your inside your tent floor so other features is the front door locks you do have this pan on top which comes off like I've shown, unsure why, I'm assuming it's to clean it out easier or feed the fire from the top possibly, I don't know. Um, I can't see it's for cooking because you cook on top of that. Um, nice space there, if you want, it gets hotter there, so I would cook there if you want to cook faster. It does have an adjuster here, it has a flat bin the inside to allow airflow or smoke coming out. And then all the way on top, you have your... Um, for sparks coming out, it stops them from going anywhere. And also there's two loops on the sides are for tying down the um, things in case it's windy, it doesn't tip over or anything. So you can kind of tie them out. But yeah, I said that pipe is, the flue is two meters. You do have a adjustable handle on the side here, but a fixed one on the other side. There. Legs easy to assemble. All it has is these pins, so when you close up it goes to the bottom pin, which goes there. Like I said, it's very well made, and uh, I'm going to enjoy this. So of course it's raining, why wouldn't it? I'm just going to show you how to take it apart. take out the ashes and just chuck them in the barbecue. This is the bag it came with. Now, I paid full price for this. I mean, it was on sale, but they didn't give me any discount codes or anything. I have nothing to do with um, the website or anything. This is strictly, you know, on my own kind of purchase before anybody says anything about it. So, but I think it's a good one. a bit on top here so just lift and then put this in so it's brand new so it's gonna be a little bit tough initially I guess Everything's right. Oh. Go. 
Yeah, that's how it looks. Little pocket here. Chest carry strap. I guess um, some clips here if you want to attach uh, anything else to this, like accessory wise. So there you have it, that's my conclusion of my first time using a Frontier stove. Um, I think it's going to be a really good accessory for my tent um, when we're camping. I mean, a lot of heat came from it, easy to assemble, easy to feed, um, can cook off it. Um, I'm probably going to end up getting the water accessory on it, just to boil water. You can put pots on it and that, but if I want to, you know, if I'm using it for heat, I might as well boil water for cups of tea and coffee. At the same time, make things a lot easier. But um, like I said, my own money, I'm gonna use it, so I'm happy with it. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. If you find it informative, let me know in the comment section as well. Thanks guys for watching, I'll catch you next video. Bye.